Howdy, I'm Matt, and welcome to this unboxing and un unbagging special, in short. Uh, if you are curious what's in these bags, then you're in the right place. Now, this is full of lots of RC stuff, and Mr. Postman has been leaving me some comments about leaving him a big Christmas tip uh, for the amount of mail which he's been delivered here in the last three days or so. Uh, so if, you're, if you are into your RC stuff, then... Yeah, we've got quite a lot here to be unboxed and unbagged to say the least. So uh, this is going to be Mel episode 61. And as we know what happens in these Mel episodes is we get lots of happy days. Now on to a very serious point. Everything which you see here in front of you was bought out of my own money for my own abuses. Or technically bought out of my money for your abuses because... Uh, and the first two are really straightforward. So we've got two sky shadows here and that means that we have now had three... Reptiles uh, S800 Sky Shadows turn up. That means that we are getting very, very close to a giveaway for the 5,000 subscribers mark. So look out for that at some point in the future. Uh, so I'm just going to put those two down out of the way. There's no point in me unboxing an S800. I'm sure you've seen me do that before. I've done two of them here already on the channel. Fantastic models. Uh, tough as old boots absolutely fantastic but uh, as we can see underneath here there's bags all over the shop uh, the first one which I'm actually going to go for is a Hobby King one uh, so we'll have a look in there now I know it's Hobby King because it's written on Hobby King on the opposite side uh, and uh, you'll have to bear with me because uh, all of these have obviously got my address labels on one side and I'm going to get in there now I'm using the uh, blade of all blades uh, the Stanley blade now I'm going to need to get the paperwork up out of the way I'll put that to one side. So what have I got in this one? Ah, so this came from Hobby King from their European warehouse uh, and that took about four days to get here. Maybe a little bit more. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it's something like four days to get here. Now the reason why I was after I, um, items from Hobby King's warehouse is because I was after some of these. Now there's me putting it up to the camera, I'll tell you what, I'll zoom in. Uh, these are some little V-Spec batteries, uh, motors. Will you wait for it to focus? There we go, I can't even read that on the screen. Uh, very dinky little motors now, uh, 2400 kV, they are 1808 motors. And you may be wondering, Matt, why are you going to be using 1808 motors? Uh, hello. Think about what we've been building here lately. Uh, we have two baby wombats. We've also got a mini twin zoo as well. Uh, so, yeah, the one babies need power plants. So that's Glass's Happy Days. Uh, I probably need to stack this stuff somewhere because there's going to be quite a bit of it today. Oh, and also some little mounts as well, uh, which uh, I, I don't know why I bought them, to be honest. I was curious on what they were and how big they were. Uh, haven't really found a use for those yet, so uh, hey-ho. Uh, we do have a munter below us as well. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Uh, let's move on to another banging item. I'm going to shove that out of the way. and see what we've got in here. And I'm curious, have we got anything in it? Ah, uh, we do. Oh, brilliant. Now, these are absolutely fantastic. Now, you don't know. There's me going, these are absolutely fantastic, but Matt, why are they? I can hear you screaming at me. These are for push rods. In fact, let me just go and let me go and zoom in. You zoom in and take a look at those quickly. There we go. So we've got some black ones and we've got some white ones. And let me go and grab a model and I'll show you how they're used and why they are so cool. Uh, and the reason why they are so cool is because there, can you see that? So this is the Hardcore 44 wing. Uh, I've got the push rod running off there. Let me zoom out so this makes a little bit more sense. So we've got a servo, uh, we've got a hole in there, we've just got a straightforward push rod going off to our control horn. Uh, and it's a very simple just snap release mechanism. It says snap release, it does come off, uh, for the push rod. They are super cheap and they work really, really well. And how well do they work? On my spec wing, which I've had uh, more special landings than I'm going to admit, which is quite a few to say the least, I have not broken one of those. What has happened instead is the servo control horn is broken, the control horn at the back is broken, something basically something else other than these little joint connectors have broken. So do I rate them? Absolutely. Uh, just be aware they do come in two different sizes. Uh, so I think they're at least two different sizes and they also come in different colours. The, 
the white is more of a creamy color uh, and the black is jet black they're really really good so that's why I've really got some of them because I've almost run out on the last bag which I ordered, uh, last lot I ordered. Now also underneath here we've got a micro Sky Munter, so this is the kit, uh, uh, sorry this is, yeah it's just a kit version, you're going to obviously if you win this item or maybe the Reptile S800 uh, you will uh, need to add your own components to it. Now I've never opened one of these so you'll have to excuse me, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see what we've got in here. Yeah, because remember, my micro sky man, so I was being a tight one, and uh, I bought the uh, parts separately. So we've got the fuselage in there. Happy days. We can see the stickers on the bottom. Brilliant. Uh, so that must mean that we've got the wings and the other bits of bobs in here. Yes, we do. Uh, the wings and the other bits and bobs in there. So, yeah, happy days. I've never, literally, I've never looked in one of these Sky Munter boxes because I'd always bought my parts separately. So, I've, I've been through four of mine by buying the parts separately. But these were so cheap on Banggood. Uh, in fact, you're more, you're more than welcome to own up. If the, if you bought one or more models from Banggood in that crazy sale which they had, uh, let me know in the comments below because uh, I ended up with about, foot, well, you can see how many orders I've got here, and I did an RC Mel video a couple of days back too, uh, is that I had about 38 orders on back order, what I'm putting uh, over those three or four days. So yeah, Micro Sky Munster, this is gonna be a part of a giveaway uh, for the 5,000 subscribers mark. Um, Chuck that out of the way. Well, don't want to spill me coffee. You're going to have to excuse me, I am going to have a quick slurp, am I? And I do appear to have hit the camera, so you're going to have to excuse me, I'm just going to sort the camera out, am I? There we go, that's a little bit better, a bit wobbly now. Do need to sort the wobble out in the camera uh, arm, but we'll get that right. Any guesses what it is? Answers on a postcard. Another Sky Munter. I can tell I was. They were so cheap, so cheap, so cheap indeed. Right, next one, no idea what's on in here, and again, this will be, I uh, assume it's a banger. <laughs> oh, Jesus, fucking, woo! <laughs> Eat my new pilot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh, he's even got a little, no, he ain't got a little bed. That is just absolutely hilarious. Oh, brilliant. I saw these. We, we put a picture in it. We put a photograph. <laughs> Meet my new pilot. I don't think the camera's going to focus on him. He's a little bit wobbly. Uh, there's Mr. Squishy, uh, which is going to be my new pilot. Uh, <laughs> and if you're wondering, <laughs> oh uh, if you're wondering why Matt, why are you in possession of this little screen? Let me just zoom right in on him as well. There he is. Oh, we're getting a bit of. Let me put my hand there, hand there, so we block some of the white light out. Uh, Matt, why are you in possession of an oddly shaped squishy? Well, in short, I put this photograph, I put a photograph of uh, a banger page in the Facebook group. Uh, and suddenly noticed that in the side <laughs> in the side options, uh, and I thought I gotta get one. Uh, absolutely hilarious! Imagine just we're just gonna have to. Oh, it's even got a little hole in the bottom as well. Uh, maybe you could put them on your finger. There we go. <laughs> oh, it feels so wrong as well. <laughs> oh, jeez. Anyway, um, this is my new pilot. Uh, so we are going to get him on top uh, of an RC model and take him for a little flight. You can imagine him just shaking around. In fact, let's get the zoom going again. <laughs> right, he's on top of the model and he's a bit windy out there. You can just imagine him shaking around and absolutely cacking himself before we have a happy landing. <laughs> I'm going to put him up there as my new little mascot. I'll take a photograph of that and put it in the Facebook group later. Oh, brilliant. <coughs> oh, jeez, what's going on? It's all going downhill from here. <laughs> oh, blimey. Right, what's, what else we got in here? Right, what else is on the way? Ah, brilliant. Ishin 526 VTXs. Uh, potentially some of the best uh, value 
video transmitters out there. These I think have been absolutely super reliable. Uh, and again, if you own one of these and you've got on with it really, really well, do let us do let other people know in the comments section underneath this video. Again, I need to make a serious point here. Uh, these 526s have been absolutely fantastic for me uh, and I've known other people like uh, Dave's got them and he's got them with them really well. They are re they're, they're super cheap, they're about $12 or so, I think I paid less than that in a sale. I don't need a dollar or two or less, don't feel too bad about it. Uh, but they are absolutely fantastic, it does 25, 200 and 600 milliwatts and it does all the bands as well. The only oddity is that this centre section here is a middle centre section, so unlike, uh, say, that one there, uh, you'll see that it's side mounted, this one is centre mounted in the middle. Uh, but that aside, absolutely brilliant little VTXs, Ham one hasn't let me down yet. Uh, they are absolutely brilliant and they are better than the, all the other ones which I've come across. Also, crucially, they do have the little push button. Uh, on the back. Now, I know that some people don't like the push buttons. Maybe if you're a quad pilot, for example, uh, and you've got this buried down inside of a model, uh, is that smart audio might be better for you, so you can go and spend a arm and a leg uh, on a TBS Unify, whatever it was. Uh, that's not going to happen here. In short, uh, I'm going to stay with the cheap ones, which have got a little push button on the back. These are super cheap. They work out, well, I don't even know how many of these I got. And all I can tell you is that I've got lots. So if you had a similar positive experience, uh, please do let others know about the Ishin 526s in the video description uh, so that other people know. And again, this is the reason, come back to my point, this is one of the major reasons why I'm doing unboxings and unbagglings like this is because then you can see what the stuff which I'm buying and you can see what other people are buying as well. Again, do share what you've been buying lately uh, in the comments section too. I am curious because together we don't really know what it's, it's fair enough that we got a picture of this on a, on a screen or something like that, but what does it actually act like in real life? That's always the big thing. We, we always take a pun on what we're actually buying online, uh, and this is why I like the RC uh, uh, Mel and Baggins, is because we get to see what you get to see what I'm buying, and I also get to an insight to what you're buying as well. So do let me know what you've been buying lately, because I'm super curious. Because uh, I only found out these found out about these by accident, uh, and they're absolutely fantastic. Now I also need to let you know I've put, I'm going to put links to everything uh, in the video description for you. So maybe if you wanted a fellow little pilot like this little lad just here, uh, I'll put a link to that in the video description for you, so you could perhaps. Uh, make a little seat for him or maybe hot glue him onto your model uh, and shake him around or on a serious point you could also get a decent FPV transmitter as well. Uh, they are all affiliate links so that means that you will be supporting this channel uh, if you use any of those links. So something which I'll let to be 100% clear, uh, clear about here. Right, moving on. That got a bit deep there a bit quickly didn't it? In fact I'm going to move my little mate over here on the desk. There he is. Uh, we'll just leave him there on the desk. Right, well... <laughs> Fuck, no. It's all gone downhill now. <laughs> it's gone downhill and then downhill some more. <laughs> right, well, what do we have? What, what do we have here? Um, we, we might have another little pilot. Now, the reason why I find this pilot absolutely hilarious is because he's got a helmet. So, um, I haven't thought of a name up for my little pilots yet. There he is. He's there in his helmet. There we go. Uh, another little Mr. Squishy. Uh, and he this one does have come complete with a helmet and a key ring. Uh, one ring and a little cap on there. So maybe we could dangle him from the bottom of uh, a model airplane. And then he'd end up flying back like that to uh, maybe almost an erect point of view, uh, depending on how he's flying. We don't want him to fall out, though, and uh, for the helmet to lose its load. Uh, but... <laughs> <laughs> I can't resist the puns. And yeah, in short, I bought this. Well, look, he's even got. Oh, man, he's even got a little. <laughs> he's even got a little. Uh, what should we call it? Uh, a little chin thing. Let's see if we can do it up. Yeah. Oh, he has as well. Oh, we don't want him to fall out. Oh, that's just bonk. Yeah, that's going in there. Look. Let me push me mate in there a second, and then you can see what's going on. Look, he's even got a little harness to make sure he doesn't fall out. Look, do you think he looks rather concerned in there? <laughs> now, you may be laughing, okay? You may be chuckling or wondering what on earth planet you on, Matt. But on a serious point, we will be putting my little mates 
uh, on some model aircraft. Uh, very early notice, perhaps for this Friday. Uh, and you shouldn't really laugh because I know what's in that bag over there. And if, you, if you're there giggling, then... <laughs> oh, dear. Right, on to the next one. Hopefully this is something more... Uh, what on earth is this? I've got no idea. Oh! Oh, sorry, that's, that's not running any RC light. It's just a siren alarm I bought for a little pet project here, which I'm working on. Yeah, sorry, that one's not very exciting. Uh, that's not RC related. I'll, oh, I'll put that over there out of the way in shame, to be honest. Right, um, we'll save the finale to last, because that one's special in a very, very special way, and I don't want for you to ever feel left out here at Rag the Nuts Off, uh, so keep that in the back of your mind. <laughs> right, you may be wondering, Matt, what have you got in this bag? Uh, that's actually a very good question. So, just make sure nothing's left in there, no. Right, in short, on Banggood, I noticed that they had a shed loads of different stickers. Uh, and that actually got my interest, is that they were, they were super cheap, we're only still going to get, there's loads and loads of stickers there, I'll put links to them all in the video description for you. Uh, and there were just so many different, how the freaking big is that? There, were just so, there was just so many stickers uh, on there, I, ju I just couldn't believe how many there were and how cheap they were. And I, this one looks like a wolf going forward, so I think that's coming out on there. Absolutely monstrous one, I don't know which one that one was, you'll have to check yourself. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I got some bullet holes. I got, two, well, actually, by the looks of it, I got three sets of bullet holes. Brilliant. Yeah. So we got some bullet holes. I thought it'd be pretty cool to put on some flying wings. Uh, I got a couple of those because I thought I could stick those on other people's models when they weren't looking. Uh, but shh, don't tell them. Okay. So I've got three packs of those, uh, and I also got some slits as well. Um, maybe, maybe we could put my little mate there. Oh, he's fallen off. Uh, maybe we could put our little mate in there, uh, in a slip, on a flying wing. There we go. He'd be right at home there, wouldn't he? Uh, so, yeah, happy days. So, yeah, I also got some metal slits as well. Uh, so, I'm looking forward to, yeah, we'll stick those on a couple of models. And again, uh, it'd be pretty funny just to stick a couple of bullet holes <laughs> on other people's models while they're not looking, you know? That's my sense of humour anyway, and I've got a shed load more of these stickers on the way to me as well. Uh, there was like a multi-pack too. You'll have to look out for the next mail episode because uh, there was an absolute shed load uh, on the way to me. So that's just a small insight to some of the stickers which we've got on the way to us. Now, on to the final. Lee. Right, we've got a turquoise helmet, a red helmet, you might want to see a doctor, definitely see a doctor if you've got a yellow or orange helmet. Uh, what else have we got in this box? So, oh, we've got another turquoise helmet. We have a pink helmet. Uh, what else we, what other colour helmets we've got? We've got a white helmet too. <laughs> we've got a purple helmet. Mm. <laughs> uh, we've got a blue helmet. Uh, we've got another red helmet. Oh, you look sore. We've got another purple helmet. Uh, and we've got another pink helmet. <laughs> yes! Matt did buy... Need to get this right. A dozen little characters which have yet to be named. We could name him Mick Willy. Um, I don't know, but I'm up for... Uh, suggestions on what we should name these and you can get into that uh... <laughs> I'm just gonna pause to drink some coffee you can help name these and you may also be the lucky winner of one of these so these are the top prizes in the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. No, honestly, <laughs> on a serious point, uh, we I've got a collection of models here which are going to be uh, given away as part away of the 5,000 subscriber do that. Uh, and uh, if you win a wing or uh, one of the models, you'll get one of these included. So I think we've got a collection of models. So uh, there will be some runner-up prizes uh, and they will be some of these little squishes. And again, uh, we've seen one of them already who is kind of just belled over the edge. There's my little mascot, and now he's got little, so little, lots of little 
buddies to, to go around and maybe play with. We don't want them to be lonely. Uh, we don't want them to fight or anything like that because that would just be wrong uh, and it would make them very sad. Uh, so we'll put those over there and I hope they make themselves up later. Right, uh, so yes, collection of goodies here. Uh, what do you have? We had some little motors, some Hobby King, and some really weird brackets. We had some, oh, those funny little things on a, on a serious point. These are really good. I really do like these, the little funny, whatever, whatever clever says, whatever they're called, they're absolutely fantastic. I'll put a proper link to them in the video description for you. Uh, we had a weird siren do that. Uh, we had three, uh, four models turn up today. Happy days. Uh, that's, again, I need to go and check my records. So I think we're getting close here now to the giveaway. Uh, we spoke about the Ishim 526s, absolutely fantastic little video transmitters. Uh, and we also got a collection of stickers. So uh, we've, at the moment, we've got a lot of things to go and a lot of slits here at the moment, uh, to be honest. Uh, and uh, yeah, we've got a collection of these little things as part of the giveaway as well. So you're gonna have to excuse my sense of humor, but I do foresee it's gonna be all the rage in the very, very near future of having your little Mr. Squishy mounted on top of your models. And again, if, you, if you're a bit of a Crash Bandicoot player, like perhaps like myself, you may also want the ones with the helmet on uh, and so that he stays nice, or she, no, it's definitely he, uh, stays nice and safe uh, while he's flying on top of your model airplane. Uh, and um, yes, you could win one of these very, very shortly. So anyway, it's time for me to wrap up. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this RC Mel, un well, loosely RC Mel uh, unboxing and unboxing episode. Uh, but on a serious point, the, the other items, uh, that's the reason why I'm doing these Mel episodes is that you can see what kind of some, some of the stuff which I'm buying here. And this is just such wrong with all this stuff on my desk at the moment uh, but on a serious point this is why we do the RC Mel uh, unboxings and unbaggings so that you can see what I'm buying here and we can share we can trade information as RC pilots as consumers uh, what we're buying and we can find out what's good uh, and what's not good as the case may be as well so if you have any questions about anything which you've been and seen here please just ask in the comment section underneath this video and remember our little squishes do require to be named so uh, if you've got any suggestions on their names please let me know in the comment section underneath this video and we will get round to that 5,000 subscriber giveaway at some point in the very very near future so as always for myself Matt thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you again shortly cheerios